Well, this fall, the state is giving millions of dollars to seven nonprofits. Their job is to make sure that money goes directly to families in need. 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with the United Way of Greater Knoxville about their plan to help more people. It's $25 million injected into the Knoxville community for our needy families so that we can help get them to a place of security and self-sufficiency. At the United Way of Greater Knoxville, community input is driving their plan. The things that came up in those conversations were the things that we're all familiar with. Stable housing, quality early child care and education, food security and transportation. The money to help comes from the state's TANF fund, which is temporary assistance for needy families. Success for us is, is providing people a hand up uh, so that they can, uh, through their own hard work and diligence, uh, be able to pull themselves out of the bondage of, of poverty. Jerry Askew co-chaired the advisory board that chose the grant recipients. The goal is to identify a series of innovative programs that have the potential to uh, guide the state in reimagining the social safety net. Then it could set an example for other states. I think that the outcomes are going to be so powerful that uh, other states are going to look to Tennessee for leadership. The United Way hopes that'll be the case too. This is really an investment in our families here in Knoxville. And so over the next three years, there are going to be ways to get money directly to families and to get them to local nonprofits. There are six other recipients across the state, including one in the Tri-Cities.